Welcome back, guys. Here we are at the one year and two month mark of our 25 way graphene coatings and sealants longevity test. It's been hot, humid, and a relative lack of rain this past month. So let's see if anything has really changed with this, with this intense summer heat we've been having. As usual, we're gonna foam this hood down using Chemical Guy's Honeydew Snow Foam, rinse it, foam it again, wash it, and then of course rinse everything off to inspect the hydrophobic properties before drying everything off. If you do have just a minute, consider hitting the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and of course, let me know in the comments if you've used any of these products or if you're rooting for any of them or your experiences with them. As always, if there is a product you wanna see tested, let me know that in the comments as well, but please check out my master spreadsheet in the video description first to make sure I haven't already tested it before asking, as I do see a lot of that. So last 30 days weather, lifetime weather on your screen here. And if you would like to support the channel, ways to do so are on your screen here. 100% of the money that this channel receives, including any YouTube ad revenue, Amazon Associates, anything goes right back into buying more products to test. So keep that in mind when making those purchases, when checking these videos out. So with that out of the way, let's see how things are holding up. Drive Auto Nano. It is looking pretty weak as is Drive Auto Graphene, but they're both still hanging in there. That is a Dallas, Texas-based company. Four two ten 10H Graphene, that's our cheap Amazon coating. It looks like it's starting to get a little weak, but it's still slightly hydrophobic. IGL Easy Graphene. That's rated as a one year product and it's still going, so that's good to see. About along the lines of the 4.2, maybe a little worse. Graphene pre-production sample A. Looks like it, it's about the same as the others two. Man, maybe a little less. Glossy graphene also doing all right. Kenzo standard versus Kenzo graphene. Both of those look like they're hanging in there, but also got some wear on them. Jumping over to Ethos Graphene Matrix. Looking like it's pretty weak too, as is Adam's Graphene 10H coating, which is a nine year coating. Something tells me it's not gonna quite make nine years. Extreme Solutions Graphene coating, even weaker still. All three of those very similar coatings, but Extreme Solutions seems like it's not quite doing as well as the other two. All three not looking great though. We talked about IGL Kinzo Graphene, and that leaves SPS Graphene, which you can see still pretty hydrophobic. That's been a pretty impressive product made by Art to Shine. And there we go, guys. So it looks like no new failures this month. However, there are several that are well on their way, especially the Ethos Graphene, Atoms, and Extreme Solutions. So there is your update. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.